Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to be working on the attribute class for our hack and slash tutorial. So let's open up Unity. Let's go over to our character classes folder, right click, select create, new C sharp script. And we'll call this attribute. Double click to open up in mono development. And there we go. So we're not going to need the top part. We won't need any of the functions it comes with. And let's just take a second to go over this mono behavior part. Now, every time you create a new class in C Sharp with Unity, you're automatically inheriting from mono behavior. Now, what this really means is that you're getting everything that's in the class mono behavior that's going to be accessible to the class that you're creating. Now, since we're going to be creating one called attribute, let's put that in now. We don't want to inherit from mono behavior. What we want to inherit from is our class that we made last time called base stat. So we'll just type that in. And what this is going to allow us to do is have access to all of these methods or anything that we've made public. Now there are ways to create our variables so that our base class can access them directly, but for now we're just going to leave them as private and access all the getters and setters that, we had, that we've created. So this class here is fairly simple. We're going to create a default constructor. And in that constructor, we're going to set some new values for a few things. So experience to level. I call it EXP to level. Hmm. My autocomplete isn't working right now. Let me just see what I call it. EXP to level. So we'll call that. And we're just going to set the value to something different than what we have in our base class. So we have 100 for the experience to level. Let's just set it to 50. So this means our attributes are actually only going to cost 50 experience to raise at the first level. And let's also adjust the level modifier, which we called level modifier. And let's set that to a little bit lower, say a 5% increase. And we'll save it. Now there should be no errors in Unity, but there are. Let's go back, take a look. Uh, we made our getters and setters private. <laughs> They're supposed to be public. So all of these have to be switched to public. I'm not sure how I missed that. Make sure the rest are. There we go. Now I bet if we go back and try to access those methods exp to level yeah there we go so that's why they weren't popping up so let's save it let's save our base stat for the edits we made go back uh, let's see we just forgot the F on the float great now outside of the class we're going to define an enumeration and we'll make it public. And it's just simply called enum. And we're going to call it attribute name. Okay, so here you want to make a list of all the attributes you want in your game. I've already had some made up before, so I'm just going to quickly type those in. Uh, we had might, constitution, uh, 
There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven attributes. You can create as many as you want and just keep adding them to the list or as few as you want. Uh, make sure that there's no spaces in them. So you can't have something like a, a two word one. If you do want to have something with two words, you'll have to put an underscore. Uh, and your last one should not have a comma. So we'll save that off. Now every time we create a new attribute, our constructor here is going to be called, but before that is called, any class that it inherits from, is its constructor is going to be called first. So when we create a new attribute, the base class constructor is going to be called. Now if we notice here, we're setting the base value to zero, the buff value to zero, we're setting the level modifier and the experience to level. And then this is going to be called. So all we're doing is resetting the experience level and the level modifier as well. So we're still going to actually have these two values stored in our attribute. Now if you had anything else you wanted to add to your attributes, you could actually come down here and define whatever method you also want your attributes to have that your base class wouldn't have. And the same thing for variables. You could create more variables here for your attributes and your base class would not have access to those. And down here we created an enumeration that holds the name of all of our attributes. I've done it this way because it's going to be easier later on to come down and add more attributes as we want them. And we'll also be using the exact same method to create our vitals and our skills. We'll go a little bit more in depth on these when we start doing other classes. I'll see you in the next video.